hi guys welcome back to the channel welcome back snowflakes thank you so much for clicking on this video and as you see i'm showing you here the products we'll be using and let's jump right into it As you see here, I'm showing the colors that I used to make this color scheme for this particular inspo for this nail set. And I did go ahead and custom um, these colors with those colors I just showed. Um, it is an inspired um, nail set that I did see another YouTuber do for a client. And I just wanted to see if I could do it and see if I could, you know, push myself to the limits. Now, as you see here, it's always a struggle sometimes. <laughs> it's always a struggle sometimes, guys. Sometimes you'll have the set in your head and you'll just be going and you know trying to get to the finished product but always remember take your time i saw a tip from young nails where it says no matter how good your work is um, take your time so you can perfect your craft so as you see i skipped ahead to the video to the part where i am doing the poly gel application because i totally was forgetting about that i went ahead and did two nails of the clear poly gel and then i did two nails of the pink poly gel so yeah, I'm just doing that poly gel application. Make sure you use base coat when you're doing your poly gel application, not as slip solution, but as a base. So yes, we're gonna go ahead and finish that up. So as we see here, guys, all the poly gel is laid, the two clear, um, nails and the two pink poly gel nails. So I'm just taking my as my alcohol and I'm just wiping off the tacky layer as you see there. And you always want to wipe off the tacky layer when you're doing poly gel nails because it does leave a tacky layer. It's like a gel. So you have to wipe off the tacky layer. Some have no, like the gel, no wipe top coats. It's similar to that concept. So yes, always want to wipe off the tacky layer. I'm getting good in every crevice up under the nails, especially if you're doing clear nails. You want to do um, up under the nail so you don't have any residue of what you were you know dealing with the alcohol so I'm gonna go in with my file and I'm just gonna kind of file the nails to crispen up the shape and I'm also gonna be using my um, nail dust collector I'm gonna be popping that in in just a second here so just sit back and enjoy and watch the filing process Yes, you guys, I am missing two nails. Don't judge me. Um, I was playing with my cat, and I went to, like, swoop down, like, my hand. with it. It, was a weird, it was a weird way. I was playing with the cat, and long story short, Zeus broke my nails. Don't blame me. Blame the cat. That's just what we're going to do here. We're just going to blame the cat.
And as you see here, guys, I'm going to be taking my buffer. I've gotten the shape down to how I wanted it. Now, I just want to say this about this hand. I feel like I really don't like using my practice hand. I like using my own hands because it's more real-like. But the reason I don't like using the practice hand, I don't know if you can tell, but the way the um, the beds are in the, in the hand, they're not as wide as I would like it to be like for more design more product you know to really showcase what you can do and i found a different way on how to use the practice hand so you know how you insert the tip and then you glue on another tip on that tip so i saw a trick or a hack that says insert the tip upside down with the free edge first and then it'll make the the nail bed on the practice hand wider so i have been doing that and it's such a game changer so if you're wondering why these nails were a little slim that is why um i regret it but you live and you learn practice makes better <laughs> so i'm all done filing here and i'm just wiping off the nails and wiping off the dust with some alcohol and we're just gonna continue going So as we're waiting for me to come back on the screen to do the nail design, as you can see, if you haven't already, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and support your girl for free. And we're back to actually polishing the real nails instead of the nail tip. Thank you for being so patient with me, guys. So I took this custom color that I made. Um, I used a mustard color and a green color and a white color to get this kind of khaki tan color to match the inspo that I was going for in this nail set. And once I get one coat in on both of the nails, I'll go ahead and cure for 30 seconds. And then I'll go ahead and do a second coat as you'll be seeing here soon. Does anyone know what this name for this practice hand is going to be? Let me know what you think it should be down in the comments below. So here I went ahead and applied the second coat and then I went ahead and popped it in the light for 30 seconds. I almost said 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, I can't speak today. <laughs> So here, um, I'm going to start with the matte top coat, which I already did, and I cured for about 30 seconds or so. And what I'm gonna be doing is creating the C's as best of my ability um, for the coach design as the background for these two nails. When I tell you guys, this was like the hardest thing for me, but I do like a challenge. I want to push myself to go you know, harder and do better designs. Practice makes better and you can't get better if you ain't practicing. So just watch me struggle <laughs> and it'll come out pretty cute.
as you can see here guys i keep wiping away like you know what i feel is a mistake and then i try to do it a little bit better but as you know whenever you're doing nail art your hands have like this uncontrollable urge to shake like and you have to like concentrate sometimes you be holding your breath and everything so <laughs> this is what was happening to me i was catching anxiety and i was trying to like fix the seeds as best as i could to try to emulate the coach pattern so yeah that's what was happening here Fun fact, guys, about this <laughs> coach background design. Um, I was doing it wrong the entire time, but I realized that, and I just kept going. Um, I wasn't, like, you're supposed to have the C's, like, facing each other, and then at, at the next line under, they're supposed to be, like, facing up. So it looks like a U, but it's a C. But, oh, my gosh, I was doing this so wrong, so I had wiped it off, and I tried to keep going, and then I did it again. So I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm just going to leave it like that and hope nobody noticed, but that's just a fun blooper that I decided to keep in the nail design, and I hope you guys like it. <laughs> And there goes that wipe to try and redo what I knew I had messed up. <laughs> Guys, when I say this was so tedious to my brain, it was so tedious to my brain, but I saw it and I thought it was amazing and I watched her do it to give me more of an education on how to do it and I felt like I could do it and I need more practice, but this is my first go around, but y'all will be seeing more um, challenging designs. I'm going to challenge myself as much as I can. Practice makes better. So as you see, I'm taking my Born Pretty matte top coat because this, these two nails are matte. I'm going to go ahead and press my pink rhinestones into the wet matte top coat. And then once I get the stones to the placing that I like, I'll go ahead and cure for about 30 seconds. Look at my hairy arm, y'all. Oh my gosh. So once I got that out of the light for 30 seconds, I went ahead and took that custom green that I made as well. I didn't want it to be too dark or too light. I want it to be just light, more of like a realistic green. And I just did the stems on the pink cherries of those pink rhinestones that I placed on the nail. And that was pretty simple. Um, just made like the two little lines and kind of make like a stem at the top. And it was real simple. And once I got that to my liking, I went ahead and cured the light for 30 seconds as well.
and voila they are all cured out of the they're all out of the light and i went ahead and top coated the pink um nails and i'm gonna be jeweling these these two nails i thought that they would just really add like that expensive cute look to the nails with my jewels and i just i love my jewels i can't have a set without jewels and if i do that means i'm probably not feeling well <laughs> So I'm going to be taking some of the um, silver crystals that I have here and I'm going to be adhering them with that big jewel that I am going to be carrying with my dynamic nail lamp because it just, I, I went up in the wrist that's sliding all over the place. So I just took my um, dynamic nail lamp and I just, you know, put it right in front of it and then I cured it for that once all I got the, once I got the placement to where I wanted it to be. So I'm also going to be applying top coat to this um, pinky nail here, and I'm going to be using that as my adhere to adhere my crystals. Now, surprisingly, I heard Nails by Key say that when she does her placements of her crystals, when she's done with the set, she takes her crystals off of those nails and puts them back. Now, I thought that was a great idea. Here I am thinking I have to keep them on the nails and then I gotta buy more stuff when I only do my nails the majority of the time. So, I'm like, shoot, why not reuse them? Like, she has a great idea and I've been doing it ever since. So, once I um, get done with the nail set, take my pictures and everything and show you guys the final results, that is usually what I do. I take my crystals off and I put them back clean them off and everything like that but i just felt like that was a really really great idea to save money and also to just preserve what you have these uh crystals and products and stuff sometimes guys they're not cheap but especially if you want the good stuff like this is the final product these were so cute i loved how they came out i should have put that on my hand it probably would have been a little bit better but uh, I, I am adding cuticle oil to the hand it was very dry it was dusty it they was waiting on me at the dough so yes guys this is the final product i was really proud of myself but i'm gonna continue to challenge myself and practice makes perfect and here are the final shots guys this was so so cute i really really love this set let me know in the comments what you think about this set and continue to watch these final shots Yeah. Uh -huh.